I, they was like, we gotta evacuate. Yeah. And that's when people started pushing me down the bleachers. I had to push one person off me. And I was sweating. And then one of the teachers, she had fell off the bleachers. God bless her, because that's my favorite teacher. I really hope she's okay. Ms. Brim. And the school children here at Dillard speak for themselves. They are angry at the fact that they had to stay out there in the hot sun all because of one kid's buffoonery. Boy, you know we out here Dillard Park. Don't bring your ass back to our school because you had us outside for four mother five hours. Aggravate, like you should honestly be ashamed of yourself and I hope you stay in the pit for a long time. My mother always told me this. Son, if you ever think about doing anything you've never done before, do it in front of a mirror with me behind you with a belt so I can smack some damn sense into you if you ever embarrass me in front of a whole school and news. So I'm gonna tell him to better his life, man. As soon as I stuck in the school, there was like lockdown. Yeah, I'm like, dang! And you still trying to make dress and stuff, ain't even do nothing for real. Like, that's just real ghetto. The whole school went on a mandatory evacuation. Thousands of students running towards the bleachers, being stacked on each part, filling up quickly away from the school in case anything explodes or shrapnel can anybody. They stood here for several hours, and full order police were quick to decommission the threat of this bomb scare, which it was a hoax, as the students said, you know what? I didn't mean the bomb threat. It was all just a joke. Well, it cost them to be placed in handcuffs and the whole school to be on a frenzy panic as parents quickly rushed in to pick up their kids as fast as they could. The remainder of them went back to class. At around 2.40, they were ejected and they went on their way back home. Yeah, I feel like it's crazy, man. We gotta be more careful with these kids, man. I gotta come out here and check on my kids, make sure everybody all right. I got grandkids out there, nieces and nephews. I remember one time that there was a kid that made a shooting threat when I was a senior and that messed up our whole, it was our last day of high school and that messed it up for seniors. And now I'm heartbroken, now I feel like my whole high school was robbed all because of that one foolish, I don't even know what happened to him. Maybe he's in jail, I don't know. Look, the point is guys, is that stop playing games. Well actually play the games, but play the right way. Don't do this buffoonery. Don't get into trouble. Enjoy what you have here because it's a major gift. I'm the Reagan News Reporter, keeping it real here in Dillard, here in Broward County, South Florida, with the latest. And please be safe, be careful out there, and take it easy. What in the world is going on in Broward County, South Florida? Don't miss with the Breaking News Reporter. Where this, all of this commotion happening right